Welcome. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about just straight long stock. And so just essentially just buying shares of stock. So obviously the market assumption is bullish. You want it to go up if you buy it. Uh, as far as the implied volatility goes, it doesn't matter because it doesn't really play in. Uh, so it can be either high or low. There's no optimal time frame because if you buy stock, it doesn't expire or uh, it doesn't have expiration dates like an option. Profit target, we like to we, we still like to manage our winners. So we look at a 25 to 50% of the debit paid. So what you bought the stock for. Downside risk is obviously the stock could essentially go to zero if the company went bankrupt. So that's your that's your absolute risk. And the upside, uh, upside risk is none because obviously you're making money if the stock is going up. And then the probability of profit is approximately 50%. So the trade setup is, is you just buy 100 shares of stock or how many shares that you're looking to buy. Or in the case of futures, you could, you could buy one future contract or, or a number of futures contracts. And as you note down here, the time decay or theta does not exist with this position. There's no theta, there's no time, time decay because there's no expiration date. Now, I know most of you understand how to buy and sell stock. Okay, so that's not what this lesson is about. The lesson is about uh, the, the probabilities of buying stock and why it's an inefficient use of capital as well as just an inefficient way to to take a, uh, a directional assumption on a position. So let's just go to a, a popular stock. Let's let's look at uh, let's look at Facebook, right? Very widely traded stock. So if we go to if we go to the charts, you can see here's here's Facebook. Well, let's say you said, okay, Facebook, where it's at right now. I really think that it's going to continue. It's 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 upside move, uh, it's a strong stock, good financials, they've got a lot of good things going on. Whatever the reason is, you decide that you wanna buy Facebook. So if we go to the trade tab, you simply find the, uh, the ask and you can simply just click on that and that'll populate 100 shares of Facebook. Now here's what I really want, here's the key that I really wanna get across in this and here's the takeaway for this video. If we right click on that and analyze the trade, let me get rid of this other stuff here. So here's the here's the graph of, of buying, buying Facebook stock. Now, this was a this was kind of a big epiphany for me and when it really sunk in the value of trading options. And that is if we set our slices to break even like we always do, um, with, with our options trades, what you can see is that, okay, so here's price right here. Look at what the probabilities are to go up and what the probabilities are to go down, okay? And then, and then we can pick a, a specific date in the future. So, so, so for example, today is March 8th. Let's just go out, most of our trades are kind of in that 30 to 60 day range. So let's just, let's just pick a day out in the future of, you know, let's say April 21st. That's about a month and a half, right? What this gray area right here represents is the expected move during that time. So the way that, the way that stocks are priced, the way that options are priced, it, it's, it's based around volatility and, and the amount of time. And what you'll see here is, is anytime you buy a stock, it's a 50-50 bet, okay? I don't care what magic indicator you think you're using or, or trend lines or support and resistance. It's a 50-50 bet, okay? And so this is, by, by looking at this visually, this is what really gave me the epiphany that, oh my gosh, no wonder I could never make money uh, on a long-term consistent basis by just being directional with my trades. And that's that's the whole reason that options are so valuable because it adds in the volatility component, it adds in the time decay component, it, which is that theta that gives us kind of that daily paycheck. And so what you'll see here is, is and you can do this on any stock, Netflix, Google, Facebook, it, it doesn't matter. When you buy it, it it's a, from that point, it's a 50-50 bet whether it's gonna go up or down. And the gray area represents the expected move, which is that one standard deviation move between now and whatever time frame you're looking at. So in this case, 
uh, about a month and a half away or a little over a month away. So what you can expect, and so there's, so basically, and this, and these numbers hold true time after time after time over a large number of occurrences and over a long period of time. So you may get, you know, you may get lucky on, uh, if you do 10 trades, you may get seven out of 10 right and think, oh, that's a 70% chance. Well, but if you do this over and over again, what you'll, what you'll realize is that it really is just a 50-50 bet. And, and so the gray area represents that expected move or that one standard deviation move. So essentially almost 70% of the time, the stock is going to stay in this range. So in Facebook's case, it's currently trading at $130, 137.79, right, as you see there. So 70% of the time that you do this trade, it's gonna stay in this range. It might trade up to 146 plus and down to $129 approximately. And so that, and again, these these models and the pricing is so accurate that over time, that is going to play out over and over and over again. And so, you know, if you if you want to buy the stock because you you just want to own it for the long term, and then you can utilize options and other things all around it, that's fine. But just buying a stock, a it takes up a lot of capital, and b you don't have any real theoretical edge with volatility or theta decay or anything like that. Um, so anyway, that, that's, the, that's the lesson for today. Not that stock buying is bad, but if you do own stock, you need, a, you need to utilize some of the other strategies around that stock that we teach in this course, like covered calls, covered puts, and continually reduce your basis in that stock position over time. And that's where you're really gonna get the value in, in owning stock overall. So I hope that was helpful. See you at the next lesson.